Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Hi you guys, uh, <laughs> the Fisher Dan here. Um, so I wanted to update you on a few sessions I've had recently at Water Farm Fishery in Berry. Um, I'm literally just doing a campaign on there at the moment just to get amongst a few of them and see if I can land some of the biggies. I'm fishing similar spots at the moment in the corner where I've got a cabin. I can work from there on the laptop and not have to worry about bringing the bivy and all that. But um, yeah, just trying to see if I can get amongst a few of the, the bigger fish on there. The average fish in there, I'd say, is around sort of, I don't know, seven to 10 pound, something like that. Um, I've had a few doubles. I think the biggest so far I've landed is around a 16 pound, but I'm trying to get uh, one of the 20s out and then I'll move on to the other lake on the on the complex. But um, yeah, I just want to see what you guys make of the video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, it's just a few random little clips of me catching a few carp. Hope you enjoy. Let's go fishing. Seven oh one. Just woke up. Absolutely knackered. But we're uh, we're gonna catch a few carp today. You know how it is, yeah, buddy. Nice morning for it, that's for sure. It's a little cow. Oh. We have visitors at the swim. Hopefully they're here to bring me some luck. Turned up in the trike. Nice. Into a fish. Fairly nice one by the looks of it. Can't get him to the top at the moment. Well, when I did see him, he looked hopefully a double figure. He's churning the bottom up. Can't. Oh, it's nice. He's a nice car. Don't tell me the hooks come out. The hooks come out. No way. Let's give him a little way. Oh no. Oh. Nine and a half. It's gonna kick off again. Let's see if I can hold him up for the camera without him kicking off. He's bound to though, isn't he? Let's be honest. Put him back. Yo, back down the lake, just at the end of a session. Bit of a crazy, well, weren't too crazy today, but managed to get four carp out just packing up now they're only really small most of them were on the krill actives then i switched it over to some small uh yellow what were they northern specials a few of those um did me two bites on them as well but one of them took me straight into them pads there so i pulled to get it out and uh no luck but yeah, it's about half eight now. All the cows are in the field again. Let's see if we can zoom in on them as well. Let's have a look. A little bit of zoom. So yeah, all in all, been a pretty good session. Just got to pack up all this stuff now. Oh, don't you just hate the pack up? Anyway, I'll do another video on the next one um didn't really get any footage today because there weren't anything special to film or document so yeah peace out catch you in a bit on the lake it's a lovely day i will show you 
lovely day. It's definitely a day for surface fishing. So we have got the controller float, or the outlaw parachute float, shall I say. They're soaking up a bit of bait booster. Um, some of them are taking, but it's a bit later on in the day, I think. It's about three o'clock now. What are we on? 3.40, 3.45. Yeah, it's a nice day for it, for sure. I quite like this little peg because it's in the shade. I do burn a bit too much. So the sun, sun sets over that side. So I'm nicely in the shade over there. Charlie, Jimmy Big Bollocks is absolutely roasting. So he's uh, got the brolly up. I suppose it's nicer to sit out there and get a breeze than it is to sit in his cabin. But there's a few on the top here and that. They're cruising though. Not really interested. The oxygen levels are going to be low, I think. I'm waiting till this evening now. But yeah, I'm gonna chill in the pad, bit of music on, do a bit of work on the laptop, and hopefully catch one. Peace! I'm gonna show you the setup today. Oh, Baker's dog biscuits coated in a bit of the pro stim just to give it some extra potency. And then we got actives and then just normal quills. They're nice and soluble, quite warm as well. A bit of the dust as well. So we're gonna give it a go. I was tying a few. I think on the quick melt PVA tape, I was tying them onto the actual. We're using a the Kamakura there. I don't know if you can see it. But you don't get much use out of a Kamakura, they bend quick, don't they? Oh, he's already rob on the rob. Brilliant. It's not going to happen on the surface if he's about. They're back. They've seen the floaters. Brilliant. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. Might have to hook one of them. That's right, but it's been an awful day, fishing wise. I mean, this has been lucky, this one, but I'll tell you all about it soon. All right, guys, a little update then. So it's Monday, the 5th of August. <coughs> it's currently about one o'clock, I think. Let's have a look. Oh no, 1.40, 1.40. Um, been an absolute mare of a morning. First cast, cast straight to the pads just to clip up. Um, and then go to reel it in, snagged on the bottom, lost the whole bloody rig. But brilliant. Set it all back up. Rob went off about 10 minutes later. Went to steer it out of the pads, hook, pull, came straight out. Like, oh my days. Then, was fishing over that way there. Had one uh, take a run into the pads and I've gone to get it. And then uh, the hook snapped. Never had a hook snap. This one snapped on me. It was a cord, uh, what was it now? Crank X or something. Maybe a wide gape actually. On a blowback rig. First time I've ever had one of them. But it was an old rig. Like, not old, but like it had been in the packet a long time. It was a pre tired one, this one. A bit of rusted setting, I think. But I'd sharpened it all up, made it look all nice and pretty sharp, as it were. And uh, yeah. Lost that one. Then literally just had one there off the pads, bang, in the bag. That one that I video just then, which is about, I don't know, eight, nine pound. I don't think it was 10, it could have been. But anyway, still waiting for some biggies to turn up. But that's the update for today. Um, I'll let you know and I'll try and get some more footage if I can when I'm either playing one or I've caught one that's on the bank. Peace. Uh, right, playing the fish here. Funny little one. See if we can get him in the net in a sec. I reckon so. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Have a little look, see what's cracking. What's occurring. Nice. We'll take that. Good start. I'm back in business. Oh, what a day I've had. It's been a mad day on the lake. It's just been chaos after chaos, but not good chaos, if you know what I mean. One of them days where you lose leads for fun and you just cast out and get snagged instantly on something. One of them type of days. But this is a nice, maybe an eight to nine pounder, this one. Not too sure what sort of weight he is, but that's a guess. 
I'm going to go eight to nine. Right in the side this time. And do you know what? Nothing fancy on a quarter basic rig. Nothing fancy. Almost like a little blowback rig. Does the job. Does the job. People overcomplicate their rigs sometimes, I find. Oh, he's a nice one, though. I'll hold him up and then I'll do a little video of his body. Not a bad one. Not a bad car. Let's do a little... Not a bad car. Healthy looking one. Anyway, I'm going to put him back. Up. It's been a bit of a slow day. Three takes. I only got one on the bank. Bit of a nightmare, mate. But yeah, just got to pack all this up now. End of the session. We'll be back with more soon. Well, that's mad. I'm into a fish last minute. Just was packing up, took me in the reeds, and then I got him out out of the lily pad. Sorry, that was crazy. That was chaos. He's holding the bottom. I think he's a bit bigger. This one might be a bit of a better fish. I'm not too sure yet. Now he feels small. Now he feels small. Doesn't want to come up though. Does not want to come up. A nice mirror. Not bad. Right, I'm gonna bring him out one to the mat. Stanky mat. Yeah, big boy. Not too bad. Not too bad. 